Well, despite such attacks by Boko Haram, authorities say they are close to crashing the militants for good. The Council of Ministers of Defense of the Lake Chad Basin, in conjunction with the government of Benin, have now adopted a new plan aimed at eradicating the Boko Haram insurgency. CGTN's Deji Badmus has more. When the Lake Chad Basin countries came together to form the 8,700 strong multinational joint tax force in 2015 to take on Boko Haram, many had thought the days of the terrorist group were numbered. But two years on, Boko Haram, though significantly weakened, continues to carry out a campaign of terror in the region. Nigeria, Cameroon, Niger and Chad have all been bearing the brunt of its suicide bombing campaign. Funding and logistics challenges have slowed down the multinational joint tax force. Security expert Onai Komu says it's good to hear the defense chiefs of the region now say they have a new plan to banish the ghost of Boko Haram in the region. We hope that the plan is credible, that the plan is solid, and the plan will be well resourced in order to combat uh, this security threat of our times. Once very mistrusting of one another, the Lake Chad Basin countries have now put their primordial sentiments aside to work together in confronting a common enemy in Boko Haram. Troops now carry out cross-border operations, but experts say much more still needs to be done. Once funding is there and uh, they are also, uh, like I said, adopt the right kind of uh, intelligence in confronting this menace, then I think it's possible that uh, they can actually um, uh, do something about eradicating it. But I think it is not going to be in the short term. It's still going to take a, a, a bit longer than they are saying. To bring this war to an end, there is a, an a element that is missing sorely and we've been very uh, a much in short supply of it throughout the conflict so far since 2009 up to date. That is intelligence. That intelligence component has been missing, particularly human intelligence. For now, the defense ministers of the Lake Chad Basin countries and the Republic of Benin are still keeping their new plan close to their chest. But analysts say the ultimate solution to the Boko Haram crisis in a region rife with rampant poverty and poor governance is by far beyond the military one. The reality is that weak governments breed, you know, terrorism and all kinds of social, uh, negative social activities in a country. And so we need to begin to look at the issue of governance, the issue of, you know, uh, uh, providing the kind of economy that would take care of the greatest needs of the people. Everyone is still waiting for the unveiling of this new plan, but Boko Haram is not waiting at all continues to carry out suicide bombings across the region, with Nigeria and Cameroon worst hit in recent times. Deji Badmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.